All right, what's going on, Giants fans? Making a quick video with this new news that O'Shane Zimenez is out for the season. On Monday, he'll be getting surgery on a uh, torn, his right torn rotator cuff. I think I got that right. I'm not a doctor. I did a little bit of research of guys who've had it. Ray Lewis had it in 2002. Um, Breeze didn't have a torn cuff, but he had it injured. I mean, his whole shoulder is messed up. But it's, it's not, it shouldn't mean that like this is damages O'Shane Zimenez's future career, but it does suck for this year. And let's start with it. O'Shane Zimenez was expected to have a big role. He was the starter in week one against Pittsburgh. Um, and we saw what, even in the beginning of the season when Marcus Golden wasn't getting the reps. O'Shane Zimenez and Lorenzo Carter were supposed to be the guys. Fat Rowe has been in that rotation. And then he got hurt um, after week four. Um, and what sucks is he was probably the best pure pass rusher on the team once, once Marcus Golden was traded. Um, in 2019, I just want to go through it though. In 2019, he played 45% of the snaps. In those snaps, he had 25 tackles, 5 tackles for a loss, 4.5 sacks, 9 QB hits, and 12 pressures. That's pretty good for 45% of the snaps. Um, in fact, if you put him at the same amount of snaps that Marcus Golden had, now this isn't perfect, obviously, but at that rate, which would be 83% of the snaps, he would have 46 tackles compared to Golden's 72, 8 sacks compared to Golden's 10, 9 tackles for a loss compared to Golden's 13, and then 16 QB hits compared to 27. So not as good as Golden, but still, like, that. that's that's good production, especially for a rookie. And, he, I mean, he was second on the team with four and a half sacks. Like, that was second on the team in 2019. I think he tied with Lorenzo Carter to Marcus Golden. So he was expected to have a big role. I know people thought that he was going to have, like, a breakout year. I actually think year three is the year to really judge O'Shane Zimenez and see if he's going to have a breakout role, similar uh, similar to Lorenzo Carter, where year two everyone was expecting him to be huge. And then year three is when it was like, okay, this guy's looking like a, you know, a real deal football player. But it sucks because we just are really thin at the outside linebacker spot right now. We're having to play Jabal Shear, Trent Harris, Carter Coughlin and Cam Brown are getting in there. So to miss him for the season sucks. And it just sucks for any young player to miss a season. Like he played four games this year. He missed a season. He's going to end up missing more time than Lorenzo Carter this year. And I feel like Lorenzo Carter injury ha happened ages ago. So for him to miss his second year and a guy who's kind of raw and needs that playing time experience, that's what really sucks for him. So I hope he could bounce back in 2020. But I mean, and he wasn't bad this year either when he played. I mean, uh, the, st the raw stats weren't there, but he, he, his snap percentage game by game was 41, 29, 58, and 33. So they weren't they were truly rotating that outside linebacker spot. Um, five tackles, no sacks, a tackle for a loss, three QB hits, and five pressures. So he was getting some pressure. He didn't get there, but you know, it was to say he wouldn't have gotten there the next four games if he didn't miss the first four. So that I mean, that really sucks that we lose a young guy for a season and he just doesn't get that experience. I hope he can really bounce back in 20, 2021. I keep on saying 2020, I think. 2021. Um, and especially, I mean, we are thin. I mean, think about coming into this year. I mean, the conversations Justin and myself were having were, hey, do you think they would have brought Fat Girl in if they knew they were going to keep Golden? And we were both like, no, probably not. And going into the season, I, we, I expected Marcus Golden and... And then O'Shane and Lorenzo to rotate, and then Fakra would be the fourth guy in the rotation. But I mean, think about a room where we we thought it was overcrowded coming to the season. Like we, we it was like it's overcrowded. You got the two rookies and Cam Brown and Carter Coughlin. Will you be able to keep them on the roster? Which they did to the Giants' credit. And then now it's now it's a it's a, it's a very thin position. I mean, Kyler Fakra, um, his. His first four games was 44, 55, 49, and 74% of the snaps. The last six, 98, 100, 90, 91, 87, 94. And Fackrell's been good, but he's kind of tempered down um, a little bit. I mean, let's go through some raw stats. First six games for Fackrell, 20 tackles, three sacks, six tackles for a loss, five QB hits. I mean, he was like, man, what a, what a free agent signing. And he, he still is a really good free agent signing. The last four, though, where he's been playing... Basically, all you know, he's been playing over ninety percent of the snaps the last four games. He has nine tackles, zero sacks, zero tackles for a loss, and three QB hits. So um, he's been solid out there. He's been reliable, but he hasn't been. You know, he wasn't the guy that was getting there the first. You know, the first six games. Um, so he's going to be relied on. So going forward, obviously, they've been playing uh, Jabal Sheard and Trent Harris. They're serviceable. Carter Coffin and Cam Brown will get reps here and there, especially on some third down stuff, which they've been. You know. 
Carter Coffin especially. You see him on third down rushing the passer. He 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 has a bull rush. Like he has pass rush moves. So I don't expect him to play twenty five percent of the snaps, but you know, continue to give him his five, six snaps a game and let him make some plays out there. Um so I mean it, it just sucks for O'Shane that he that he loses he loses his second year. Loses his second year. A guy that was raw and he's developing, he he has to spend now time rehabbing from injury instead of really perfecting his craft. And he's someone who, I mean, he has really good hands. Um, so it, it sucks for O'Shane. I mean, I know that's that's not that's not some unique hot take, but it, it just really sucks to see a young guy have to deal with those injury issues. Other injury news that came out with this news: Xavier McKinney will be active is activated from the from the uh, IR, which is nice, exciting. Can't wait to see him, although he's probably not going to play a huge role against Cincinnati. Crowder's going to be back. It'll be interesting to see how they use Crowder. If they bring him, you know, when he left, he was the full-time starter. He was playing a ton of snaps. It'll be interesting to see how they fit him back in. And then Graham Gano will be good to go. And then they brought up Nico Lelos from the practice squad uh, from Dartmouth. He played defensive end. Um, I view him more as like, when I say defensive end, as like a B.J. Hill type defensive end. But nonetheless, it'll be interesting to see if he gets any snaps. Um, he also has um, some practice as a, like a long snapper, so I, I don't think they're were I don't think they brought him up for that. But you know, Casey Kreider, who was on the COVID list due to Graham Gano, um, you know, you know, ne- you never just in case there's some type of an emergency. But uh, it, it looks like looks like we're ready to go against Cincinnati. Oh Shane, get better, man. Work. Sorry to hear this. Get better. Kill the off season. Kill the rehab. Get better. Make sure if you like the video, I'm I'm starting to I'm getting used to asking for this, and it makes me feel weird, makes me feel dirty. But like and subscribe, do all that good stuff. We appreciate you guys, and look out for Justin's five keys video later. This was supposed to, it was supposed to come out the same time as this video. The Ximenez stuff, the Ximenez news came out, so I told Justin to bump his back, which I'm sure annoys him. So make sure to check out his video. Give it some positive feedback. Um, and and his I actually like his five keys videos a lot. So. Appreciate you guys. Let's beat the damn Bengals and let's go big blue.